Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to do some ham radio fox hunting. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically just a transmitter hunt using some basic radio direction finding techniques here. So the details are that the president of my local ham radio club has hid an automatic automated transmitter out in the wild somewhere and it's up to the members and well any licensed amateur really to go out and try and find it using their radio direction finding skills. Now I've done some fox hunting in the past and I've got some videos that I've made of that. I'll link those down in the description below. But those were in-person hunts or live hunts where the fox was a live person. This is just going to be kind of us against the machine so to speak. And the other thing that's different here, I say us, because my wife is actually going to join me <laughs> for the first time. Uh, it's the end of March 2020 and we're currently under the stay at home directive uh, due to the C-19 situation and she's kind of just a little stir crazy being cooped up in the house. She wants to get out for a ride and said she'd come along with me. It's about to rain here too so hopefully we can kind of beat the rain but anyway uh, before we get on with the hunt I'll give you guys a quick look at this setup that I have here in case you haven't seen it before. So the rest of this video is going to be kind of freehand so I apologize if it gets a bit shaky. So first up inside the truck here's the setup that I have. Now first up this is the regular two meter that's always installed in here that I use to talk on the local repeaters and such. Of course this puts out 50 watts so we're going to use this to just get us in the area. Although based on some chatter that I heard the other day I think I kind of know where to start. Anyway, this is my HT that we're going to use for the actual direction finding. This is connected up to my directional antenna, which you'll see in a minute. And it's also connected up to this old attenuator that I built back in the 90s for fox hunting, really. Anyway, the reason I'm using this HT is because it's got a pretty decent bar graph meter on it here, so it should help us dial in the fox as we get close. The antenna that I'm using is this six element homebrew Yagi built by my friend John, KB1OYB. We've used this on a couple of in-person fox hunts and had pretty good success with it. So let's see how it does against an automated uh, fox box. Anyway, you can see I've just got it mounted to a military pole through a piece of wood that takes the place of my sunroof here. And then I've just got it kind of anchored down here with a bungee cord and I'm going to go grab uh, one of the tent pole bases to put under here just to make sure everything spins. So just a quick demo here before we go out looking for the fox. You can see that I'm tuned into a repeater here that's a fair distance away actually. So you should be able to see as I rotate the antenna a bit the signal kind of comes and goes as the antenna either points toward it or away from it. So this should give us a pretty good idea of which way to go for the fox. So the fox box is set up to transmit and receive on 146.550 megahertz. It's also got a CTCSS squelch tone enabled so it can't be keyed unless you've got the right tone programmed in, kind of like a repeater would be. And it also only activates when you key up and push one of the DTMF keys on the microphone. So once you have that sequence of things, and if you're close enough to the fox, it will transmit a series of tones for, I think, 60 seconds or so to give you a chance to kind of dial it in with your direction finding equipment. And of course, if you're not able to get it in that time, you can always try and key it again and let it play its tones out one more time. Now, from here at my home location, I'll key up the radio and kind of show you that at this location, I'm not able to raise the fox. Okay, and if we were able to raise the fox at this point, it would have come back with that series of tones, but we're just getting silence at the moment. N1NUG. So I think that sets the stage. I'm going to grab my wife and my son and let's hit the road and see if we can find them. So I'm going to take a reading here. We're at the intersection of Route 32 and Route 195. I'm going to first key up on the big radio here because it's putting out more power. We've got a better chance of raising the Fox Box here. Okay, it looks like we got it. So I'm going to turn this antenna bring this up here and see if we can raise it. I'm not hearing it on this one yet. So I'm not sure what that means at the moment, but I guess we're going to have to keep 
heading down the road to see if we can get a reading on the little radio with the directional antenna. Yeah, nothing on this one yet. Since I wasn't able to get a reading, I'm not exactly sure which way to go, but higher ground is up that way. That is Route 195 South, I guess it would be, towards the University of Connecticut. So we'll go that way and uh, see if we can get up on a hill over there. We're now in a parking lot not far from the intersection of Route 195 and Route 44. So I think I'm gonna take a reading here. Maybe this will give me an indication where to go at the intersection. Can you what? do the same thing again? Oh, am I gonna to have to keep doing this? Yes. I thought I had stuff I could do. This is what you can do. I didn't know I was supposed to help you. Oh, ready? Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got it on the little one here, finally. If I spin the antenna, it looks like it's strongest. It's, whoa. It is strongest in that direction. So, I think what we're gonna do is go 44, I guess that would be west, at the intersection. Let's see what we can find. And one in UG. So we've pulled over at a school here in Mansfield, Connecticut, not far from the Yukon campus. So I'm gonna take a reading here. Uh, we'll see what happens. I may need to kick in the attenuator box at this point. The last reading I took was pretty strong signal. Hopefully we're closing. Okay, so now when we turn the antenna, it's full scale just about every direction. So let's kick in the attenuator and see if we can get a bearing. Nah, it's super strong right here still. But, seems like it's pointing that way. Oh no, maybe. Okay. Alright, so it looks like it's pointing basically the way I'm facing with the truck. I'm gonna key it one more time. Okay, so when I turn the antenna, it's hard to get a null even with the attenuator fully in. But it looks like the strongest signal is coming from right about where we're pointed. So I'm gonna pull up Google Maps here and take a look and see if there's any parks nearby. There is a bike trail over there, so it could just be somewhere along the bike trail. So my son and I came along this bike trail that's alongside of this road and we were using the HT with my keys for an antenna just touched here and we're sort of getting still full scale. I'm using my body as a reflector and an attenuator and we're kind of getting in this area here but as you can see behind me there's nothing here. This is just kind of bare woods. But I pulled up Google Maps on the phone and I think there's another park just over that way. So. I think we're going to drive over there and check it. It's starting to rain lightly here. Hopefully it's not going to get any heavier, but if just in case it does, we're going to head back to the vehicle, which is directly in front of me over there, and uh, see what we can find. But there is a park over there, like I said, and that kind of goes in line with the way the antenna is pointing right now. So I want to take a minute and pause the hunt here, so to speak, to give a little more explanation as to how I did some direction finding with my HT without a directional antenna connected to it or an attenuator. So at this point in the hunt, you just saw that my son and I were on a bike trail and we were using the HT to kind of try and find the transmitter. Now with the stock antenna connected, we were getting a full scale from the Fox no matter what we did with the HT. So we needed to add some attenuation. Now the first thing that we did is I held the antenna close to my chest and tried to kind of walk around like this to use my body as sort of uh, an attenuator, so to speak, and block the signal. Now, just like it is now, I didn't have any effect on the signal. It was full scale no matter which way I turned. So then what I did was I pulled the antenna off, and you can see, in this case here at home, I'm still getting a little bit of a signal, but out there on the bike trail, we weren't getting anything. So what I did was I just threw on this BNC adapter just so that I could access that center pin. And then what I did is I used one of my keys and touched it to the center pin there 
and you can see now we're getting a bit of a signal. Now this is not an efficient antenna, so it effectively adds attenuation. So then, with that engaged like that, I was able to go against my body and use my body as a reflector. Not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing here, I'm trying to kind of show the screen on the HT, but when I turn this way, you can see I'm getting a full scale. But if I turn the other way, the signal is kind of cut almost down to nothing. So what that tells me is that the transmitter is in that direction, because when my body is blocking the signal, we're not getting anything, but when I turn away, we're kind of in line of sight now of the signal. Now, another thing that you can do when the keys are to the point where the antenna was, meaning the signal is uh, full scale no matter which way you turn, you can actually use your finger as an antenna kind of put it in there and again it's a less efficient antenna than the keys so effectively what you're doing is adding more attenuation so again you can hold the radio against your body turn around use it as a reflector watch the signal meter and see where the null is and then you know to kind of go the opposite direction wherever the signal is the strongest so from all this testing that i've done in the yard we want to head that way so let's do that and there it is, the Baofeng on the porch found with just my HT with varying amounts of antenna on it. So we've come down the road a little ways and we found a park called Shelter Falls Park here in Mansfield. I'm going to try and key up here and see what we get. Okay, so as you can see, I've got no antenna on the HT and the thing is full scale here. So we're in the right area now. We've come to this other area that is actually part of the Yukon campus. There's a trail here, so I'm sure it's down here somewhere. And of course, it's starting to rain a bit, so we'll see if we can find it quickly. There's the Tahoe over there, and when we first pulled in, my son walked over here and he was in the woods kind of looking around. Right there. Where were you? Over there. You were over there, in those rocks. Yeah. And then you came over here and you tripped and fell, and you kind of cut yourself a little bit on a picky. And then you said you thought you saw something when you fell. And we kind of came over here and we looked and we didn't see it. And then we went down this trail that's over here a ways and then we came back and we were looking around in the rocks over there and we even went down the road a little bit. But the whole time this thing was right here and my son had found it. I guess we've been fooling around here for about 15 minutes. But this is it right here. This is the fox box. So key it, push the one, let go. And you can see that that's definitely it right there. <laughs> so we found the fox box so let me just quick ID so that we don't violate any rules even though we don't have an antenna on here what, what? N1 NUG so here's a closer look at the fox box you can see that it's got some labels on it in case somebody that doesn't know what it is comes across it it's even got the owner's call sign and phone number on there of course I blurred his phone number out but did a pretty nice job hiding this thing. I look forward to finding it again. That's going to wrap things up for the ham radio fox hunt for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. If you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Here, can you what? do the same thing again? Oh, am I going to have to keep doing this? Yes. I thought I had stuff I could do. This is what you can do. I didn't know I was supposed to help you. Oh. All right. So. Listen, camera. This is me arguing with him. Okay. All right, let's so you it. can either keep this in the video and show people what a wench I am, or you can cut it out. <laughs> it's your choice. <laughs> Put it at the end in the blooper reel. Yay! All right. <laughs>